building personally you understand what i'm saying people feeling the music hearing it and they feeling like that's them and that's how it's spreading and that's what the, the clothing was created so the people could embody the brand now with you being from albany new york was it hard for you to adjust to the florida music scene what you know at that time you know florida was at, at its peak i mean yeah i mean you know coming from new york period coming from the northeast it's like we rap acapella outside you understand what I'm saying? It's about who was the best. The songs was like less relevant. It was about who had the most to say. Everybody making records too as opposed to down south. It's like people trying to make one record and push it, take it to the clubs and pop because it's greater markets. But you know, when you come from a place where it's, it's really no market for music because at the end of the day, the greatest New York rappers were picked up for their raps. Motherfuckers went on Hot 97 and bodied it. And then guess what? Then they came with the record. The down south artists, they make one song that's perfect for a certain environment, take it to that environment, and push it until it go. So it's like when you understand um, the strip club markets and, and, and different things like that, it's really just adjustments in the, um, in the production and in the cadences because I, I care about the words and the lyricism, so I can't that's what I came from. But when you understand that people are really getting into certain kind of music just because of the cadences and the sounds. And they could give a fuck about what you're saying as long as that shit rock. Because most people are heavily drug influenced. They sitting here, they in a party, they just trying to have a good time and listen to what's going to make the females move. So you know it's about finding that happy medium without losing your identity. That's really what where the change came with me because it's like yeah I want to be able to perform in these strip clubs I want to be able to perform in these clubs where everybody want to party and my soulful music I want to be performing that sitting on a stool like this with a little light on me with a crowd of people like this just listening you understand what I'm saying smoke the L not no not no extra shit not no clubs not no flossy shit so when, so when you trying to adjust to the materialism and the shininess and the the jigginess, you know, it's just about making it work without losing yourself. Because so many rappers, I feel like they, they it's no identity no more. Because everybody just trying to be the next man because they see what's working for someone and they're so thirsty for success that they don't have a plan to stick to. They're following the next man. So, you know, with me, it's like, it's, it's I'm going to just be me no matter where I'm at. And they're going to embrace it. And like I was telling you before, everything is about timing. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, with me, I'm not in no rush. Music cycles, as we've seen right now, it's in a stage where um, gay music is coming back. I mean, gangster music. It, excuse me. I feel like gangster music was on a rise. It was doing good. Then we're back with the fuckery. So, I it. mean, you know, it go like this. It's like Onyx, Jay Z. You feel what I'm saying? Jiggy. Jay Z was still kicking that shit, but he was Jiggy. You know what I'm saying? It's Puff Daddy and Mace. It's jiggy shit. Then you know, 50 comeback. Shit like that. It cycles. It go like this. Because even with Chief Keef and them, like, I might not be the biggest fan of their music per se, but they brought the energy. You understand what I'm saying? With Bobby and them, they're bringing a certain energy and they're going against the grain because they're doing something completely different. they repping something that nobody else in this industry repping. they doing it. they being themselves. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like with me. Any person who is doing them, 
if you if you consistent and persistent enough, you know, you're going to get your opportunity. And it's just most people don't appreciate it, so they fuck it up. But with me, you know, I'm just preparing myself because when the time do come, I already got it all. I already did it. It already happened. It's just a matter of um the microscope being turned on. Bro made the news. I'm just trying to make MTV, BET. You see me, 10,000 sold on my new CD. Independent, on my own, ENT. A coward dies a thousand times more than me. A coward dies a thousand times more than me. A coward dies a thousand times more than me. Check, check out my melody.